Hi everyone, welcome back. Today, I will share with you how to edit the context menu in Windows 11 and 10. There are two ways to complete these operations. Let's start with the first method, edit the context menu via registry editor. Before starting, you should back up your registry in case some unexpected happens. Press on Windows icon and R key simultaneously to open Run dialog box. Open the registry editor by typing regedit. Choose the HKCR entry and backup it. Go to File, then Export to save the backup file. Next, let's see how to disable menu items. You can see the 7 zip item on the file context menu now. Next, I will disable it by editing the registry. Navigate to the location shown on screen. You can see menu items for all file types here. Delete or disable the items you don't want to see in context menu. You can disable it by adding minus in front of the key value. Press F5 to refresh or go to view, refresh. Note, if changes don't take effect, try logging out or restarting Windows Explorer. The 7-zip item is removed from the file context menu. Need to add a menu item? Press on Windows icon and R key simultaneously to open Run dialog box. Open the registry editor by typing regedit. Navigate to the location shown on screen. Add a new key named Notepad, replace it with your actual shortcut name. Modify the key in the main panel, the value will be displayed in the context menu later. Then add a new key named command under the notepad folder. Modify its key in the main panel, the value should be the location of star.exe file. Locate it and paste its path in the value data field. The menu item has now been added the file's context menu. For a more appealing look, we can add an icon for it. You can find and download suitable icons online. Use this website or other icon resource websites you like. Note, remember to download the file in .ico format. Locate the downloaded icon file and copy its path.
Then add a new string named icon in the notepad folder of registry following the video. Change its value to the location of the icon file. That's the end of the first method. Now I'll show you how to edit the context menu using dedicated software. Download the software package from the internet. Unzip the file and run 32-bit or 64-bit program according to your situation. Select the options you want to add from the default list. Click on the Apply Changes icon to save changes. Then you can find the item you added in the corresponding context menu. This is a basic demo, and you can explore more of its settings on your own. That's all.